What is up nerds, Will Wanderlands here and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, welcome back. I just wanted to stop real quick and make a short video about the monthly carnival card. We've had an update to the monthly carnival card and I'm not sure if everybody has heard about it yet or seen it, but um, I just noticed this the other day and I'm pretty excited about it. They updated some of the rewards in here. So uh, instead of the previous rewards, we're now getting the addition of a deluxe resource selection chest. And it's not just one of these, you're getting 138 of these every month. And these deluxe resource selection chests come with a pretty good set of rewards. I mean, you have Essence Sublimation in here, you have Spiritual Essence, we've got Master's Toolboxes, Glorious Relics, we've got Crystals of Transcendence, Stellar Shards, and Gems. Now, personally, there's a few things that I wouldn't select in here, but the fact that you have Essence Sublimation coming out of this you have uh, Stellar Shards. I wouldn't go for the Crystals of Transcendence. There's never a reason to choose those over Stellar Shards if you have the option. You also have Gems in here. I, I probably wouldn't choose the Gems personally, but um, I suppose if you need them for like an event or something, you have a bunch of these stacked up, you could just open them all for Gems and there you go. There's your event. You also get Master's Toolboxes out of this, 138 Master's Toolboxes, so that could come in handy. Uh, and then Glorious Relics. I probably wouldn't mess with Glorious Relics either. It's just not really enough to make it all that worth it. Unless you really need that artifact for some reason. But besides that, the rewards are really good. I mean, we're getting Stellar Shards just for completing monthly quests now. Like, let that sink into your brain for a second. Or Essence Sublimation for that matter. Um, or Master's Toolboxes. The cost of this is like 10 bucks. It's, it's insane. It's pretty good. That gives us a whole new reason to actually purchase this carnival card and uh really at this point it's like that would be the reason i purchased the carnival card that and maybe the universal crystals that come in handy every once in a while but that's not the only reward that's been updated they have updated another reward in the fighters competition that is uh the elite hero shards that used to be here are now a luxury skin selection chest so that's pretty awesome um i know Later game, when you're trying to get a hold of skins to upgrade other skins, this will come in handy. Or if you just, there's a skin in there that you want or need. So it's, it's a good little extra reward. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's better than the Hero Shards, but it probably actually, in, in my personal opinion, I would say this is better. You can get Hero Shards elsewhere. They're not hard to come across. There's a bunch of different ways of collecting heroes. Um, skins are a little bit, little bit more rare. We also have the Transcendence Copy Selection Chest under the Tavern Quest Rewards. Now, I can't really remember what the previous reward in here was. It's probably Glorious Relics or something along those lines. Now, it's a Transcendence Copy Selection Chest, and I know this wasn't in here before, so this is also pretty fantastic. It comes with every single Transcendence hero, or every hero that you can make Transcendence, with the exception of Natalie. And it's only one of those per month, but that'll add up and that just adds to your overall pool of options for the transcendence heroes that you're making so i think that's a fantastic reward as well um definitely nothing to snub your nose at or complain about for sure it's it's pretty good and then we have pretty much yield rewards everything beyond that is uh you know orange artifact exclusive fragments you have universal crystals and glorious relics and it kind of Feels like some of these have a little bit more than they used to in Glorious Relics, but the big thing is these deluxe resource selection chests. These things are awesome, and I am really excited to have those as a reward for a monthly card. Uh, that is really good. This puts this like on the same level for me as the privilege cards. Like, just a little bit shy of the privilege cards. The privilege, privilege cards are probably one of the best deals in the game. Uh, they're fantastic. They give you extra resources, they give you free smash chances, materials, you get uh, daily tavern quests. So these are really good. And um, for me personally, that that change in rewards in the monthly carnival card puts this on the same thing. So like on the same kind of level. So if you're like a lower budget spender, this is a great way to accrue certain rewards that are pretty hard to get. Especially Essence Sublimation. I know those are pretty hard to get a hold of. You do get these things passively in Campaign. Uh, later on, I think Void Campaign, you start get, getting these and collecting them. But, I mean, just having another resource that's relatively cheap uh, to get a hold of these, it's really good. It's really good. 
Same thing with the fighters competition. I mean, if you are participating in the Crystal Crown League Trial of the Champion whenever it's coming out, which I need to do actually, you better stop and do that. Um, and interdimensional arena, those three things I know for sure acquire accrue points for the fighters competition one. Trial of the Champion is the only one that's unique. Interdimensional Arena and Crystal Crown League both give you points towards the uh, fighter points. So you can accrue those there. And then the champion points, again, come from the Champions League. So <clears throat> just as long as you're participating in that event, as often as it comes around and getting a hold of arena tickets every day in the store, you should have no problem completing these and then that nine bucks is super worth it because you're completing all of these quests you're getting 138 of these chests um, you're getting a whole bunch of glorious relics you're getting 200 of the universal crystals a skin chest a transcendence uh, copy selection chest and i'm not even gonna bother with these because i feel like these are a little lackluster uh 20 of the orange artifact exclusive fragments but everything else is great i would definitely recommend this for somebody that's a lower budget spender that's gonna be all for me today guys i'm gonna get the heck out of here hope you enjoyed the video leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you feel about the update to the rewards on the monthly carnival card and i will see you guys in the next one later nerds